back to my channel. I haven't done a haul for you guys in such a long time. So I'm going to do a haul today and it's going to be a massive haul. Um, it's going to be a collective haul of the things I got, especially makeup wise, um, for like a couple weeks already. So i just going to like gather them all together and show you guys at once. I'm filming on my HD camera today instead of filming on my MacBook Pro because I just wanted you guys to see the true um, color and like how the product is with my HD camera better than the webcam um, itself. So let me get started because I have so much stuff to show you guys and all this stuff are from drugstore, you can get them at Walmart, Target, CVS, Walgreens, Rite Aid. So basically, you can get all this stuff um, in any of those drugstore. So let me get started. I'm gonna go by the brand instead of like you know just jump in stuff. So I'm gonna go by each brand and stuff. So I'm gonna talk about Hard Candy. Of their um, what is it? So baked bronzer and this is. They are. I really like the packaging, but it seemed like kiddish to me. So it's this is a lot of products, and I believe this is um, 12.5 grams. So there's tons of products in here, and the color is extremely um, nice, but it's a lot of shimmer in it. This one is really light to me. I feel like um, this one is heat wave, and I feel like it's really light. It's really blendable, so I really like it. And this one right here, Tropic, which I like a lot and I use it on my face today um, to contour and I really like it. I'm not really a fan of, um, what is it, um, shimmer, bronzer. I'm more of a matte girl, so, but I really like this. It gives you a really natural, healthy glow and this is really nice. So, And then I also pick up two of their blushes and I picked up one in Living Doll. This is 125 and then um, bombshell in number um, 128 and bombshell is more of like a pink um it have pinky vein um going throughout like marble lights in the blush and it's more of like a tannage uh peachy color and this one is like a barbie pink color and it's really pretty i really like them this is how the blush look like and I will swatch this one this one is um, bombshell and this one is the living doll so they are really nice I really like them um, my favorite gotta be the um, living doll because it gives you that really like barbie pink kind of glow and with this you definitely do not need to use a highlighter so I'm not gonna go in de like in depth detail about all the products because then it's gonna take for like forever. So if you want like certain products you want me to do a like close up review, then just l let me know and leave a comment below. Moving on, um, I also pick up this from them, and this is the Nobody Perfect Concealer Palette. It's really cute. I picked it up. I don't know. I'm gonna use it. I didn't open it because I have tons of concealers and stuff that I had to finish, and I just like yesterday or like this week I already bought like other concealer so but it's really cute it's just like a small compact that you can carry on the go and they have a corrector for you and they have three different shades of um what is the concealer and this one I, ha I got was in the medium um palette number 134 okay and I also pick up the high cheek uh what is it high and glow cheek um stick cream stick uh this sucks like seriously it sucks so bad i hate how it applied on and it's just like literally less than 20 minutes it just wash off of your face and i feel like this is just a really waste of money it's not worth it at all it does not give like that pigmentation as you've seen in the tube so it's just really bad oh yeah and i forgot to mention there's two sides to it this one this one um this side is pillow talk the pinky shy and this side is like um a little darker but it's also um called pillow um talk moving on and this one i got was the curl up um dye lash curler and i really like this mascara um i tried most of the 
product on my face today and I really like it. This one I got is in the 250 Carbon Black. And one thing that I love about this mascara is the wand. I really like the wand. It's curvy and it's just really thin. That It's just really nice. It does curl up my lashes a lot and it's really easy for me to get into places that, you know, like big thick wand couldn't get like you know most um on my lashes so I really like this and before I use this one I use um the lash pr um, primer and it's uh let me see it's uh fiberized uh lash weave primer and yeah I do see a difference but it, I don't know mm. I haven't really tried it much just really tell but it does work and it comes in a tube type like this and when you take it out and this is how the wand is and um so far so good so far i like it a lot and then moving on um i actually really like this this is one of my favorite products from them and it's new it's their um heavy uh, duty concealer and it comes with a uh, concealer pencil and um the concealer too and my shade is in medium and which is number 313 this one um, is the pen so you can put it on to on the go and stuff and it does apply it on really nice as for this concealer is so what the hell could I say it? Um, it's very thick it's very um, it would definitely full coverage and um, it's really thick. You do not need a lot with this concealer. You, like, trust me, a little goes a long way. And this is how it is. And as you can see, I only use a little. And look how thick it is. And it does. It does really. It does the job. Like, I really like the fact that it really does the job. It cover up like my scarring and my blemishes. Like, since beginning of the new year, my face been really bad. I've been broken out all the time and like I have scarring on my face and stuff and this really does the job because usually when um, I have scarring and pimples like that I use my MAC um, cover up selected um, cover up and it, the full coverage one which I really love but I'm running out so I was looking for a, a duplicate of it and this one is just a cheaper version of the new tag um, tattoo concealer from Kat Von D and I will give you guys more in depth about detail about this one later on in a separate video so I really like this this has got to be one of my favorite products from Heart Candy so so far so good since this is my first time trying out Heart Candy um, with Heart Candy I also forgot to show you guys this Heart Candy um, Sheer Envy Primer Ultra Light Formula and I use it today. I really like the consistency. It's very the texture is very different than the um the Smashbox Photo uh, Finish um, Light. It's it's definitely really um different, but this one feels really smooth, feel really matte. It does not um have any glow. I just really 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 like it. So this is going on away from hard candy. I'm talking about Maybelline and. I love this. I pick up another one, and this is their Asian Age Rewind um, Double Face Perfector, and I got in light. And I love this. I use this um, for under my eyes because it's brightening up my eyes. I really mainly get this for the concealer. I don't really use the highlighter. I usually tend not to use highlighter that's liquid. So I really like this. It's just um, brightening up my eyes. This is good. And then I tried their new um, Fit Me, their new Maybelline line Fit Me. And I got, I picked up the, their um, foundation and I picked up their um, powder. And one thing I love about this is that um, it has SPF 18. So it's definitely perfect for the summer and stuff. Not so much for the winter because I don't really hit the sun that much. But it's definitely really good for the summer. And my number is 220. And I just love one thing about this that it matched your um, powder for you. That you don't have to look for another powder. It's just if your number is right here, 220, you just go right next to it. It's going to have um, your um, powder for, uh, powder set for you. 
and it's 220 and I believe 220 is um, natural beige so this is really good and I'm using this on my face right now and I really like the fact that it applied on really nicely um, it's not that heavy so I really like it so far and I'm I'm a liquid um, foundation kind of girl I really don't like uh, I'm not a mousse fan um, at all so I really like this and in I noticed that this foundation have a really strong scent. Um, most foundation that I have doesn't have any scent in it, but I noticed that this foundation have a really strong scent. So if you're not a kind of per, uh, girl that use um, foundation with scent and stuff, then I wouldn't recommend this. But um, as you apply it on and stuff, the scent kind of go away like after a while without you noticing so it's not that bad and this um, packaging is really really nice I really like it one thing I hate about it is that it does not come with a pump so I have to like pour it out and stuff so but the packaging is like the Chanel one so it's really really nice I really like that so now moving on um, I'm showing you guys um, I pick up two blush from Shona Kashik yeah this one, I don't know if I show you guys yet, but this one is in um, Lily and this one is in Melon. Um, they're very similar similar in color. One is just have a more of a peachy tone and the other one have more of like a pinky tone. And they're not that um, pigmented, but uh, I don't know. I just want to try her blush out. Uh, and it's really nice. It just gives you that natural, healthy glow instead of like, bam, a lot of color on your face. So... Let's move on. And now I'm going to talk about L'Oreal. I picked up um, this from L'Oreal and it's the Studio Anti-Redness Primer. I really can't care less about this because I bought it just to see how, um, how good it is. And it just doesn't really make a difference. Uh, I guess so. Because I really don't have um, redness and stuff. I just pick it up to try it. But... If you were looking for a corrector and stuff, then I think you should just try this out. It's a cheaper um, alternate. So, it's, uh, I don't know. I, I just don't know how I feel about it. So, now, come to their new uh, L'Oreal Magic Smooth uh, Souffle. And I got two color 522 in natural beige and 524 in buff beige. Um... They are mousse consistency, and as I mentioned, I am not a mousse kind of um, girl. I don't like it. As you can see, one is darker, one is lighter, so that if anything, I can always mix up the, the color. But um, I really, I just, I don't know. I just don't like it. I just don't like how it applied on my face. It just feel really cakey, and I don't, I don't know. I just really don't like it that much. I'm not a fan of um, mousse at all. So I really don't like this at all, and it's really pricey. I think I believe it's like what fifteen. If I'm uh, moving to my Wet n Wild stuff, I like I told you guys, I picked up four of their new quad. Um, what is it near like the end of Christmas? I picked it up and I purchased this at Stop and Shop, and this is the color. This one is uh oh lord, let me see. This one is Pry. Oh girl or something like that and it's real I haven't used this one I only just used the, the highlighter color but this one doesn't really give up that of a good pigmentation so I don't know I really don't really like this and this one is vanity it's like a neutral color I haven't used this and I believe they are like $4.99 if you want to check them out and I got them at um, stop and then this quad I got is in greed and this one is Lust. And my favorite one out of this four would be um, Lust. I use Lust a lot. Most of my looks that you guys like and you want me to do tutorial on recently are from this quad. I really like this quad. Um, it's come off a little powdery, but the color is really nice. It's really pigmented. And it's just... Uh, like it's worth the money you know I really like that so I pick up all the new one and then I pick up their um I also pick up this one it said turn me over 
and walking on eggshell this is what this is called walking on eggshell and i just only picked this one because i like i really like neutral even though um i love bright and stuff color but i really like neutral stuff so this is really nice um uh, i just haven't used it yet so i don't know new blushes um actually not really new only this one that's new and i this is the one i use i really like it it's really nice pink and this one is heather silk so this is the only one I already opened. And then this one is Mellow Wine. This one is Berry Shimmer. And the last one is uh, Perilousin Pink. Yes. Um, What is it? I believe Heather Silk and um, Mellow Wine are matte. And this two, um, Perilousin Pink and Berry Shimmer are um, shimmer finish. So, like I said, it's really worth the money, and it, um, the pigmentation is really good. So I really like them. And then that is it for uh, Wet and Wild. Now moving on to Milani. I've been really like Milani. I've always been a fan of them, and I really like how they are. So I picked up two of that HD Advanced Concealer, and I really like this. It remind me of the YSL. Um, concealer stick or whatever like light enhancement or whatever but um it's really cute it's like coming with the um, pen formula and you just click them and then the product just um come out at the tip oops and i pick up two shades um one is uh 01 and the other one is 04 and i believe 01 is the lightest one and then 04 is like a medium shade so i also pick up three of their um 3D Glitzy uh, Glamour Gloss and they are really really nice. I was so skeptical of getting them in the first place because I'm not a fan of um, glitter, lip, uh, like lip gloss, like shimmers and stuff like that. So I was really iffy if I want to try them and but after a song review from one of the beauty guru and I love them i fall in love with them and they remind me of the dazzling glass from mac like especially the color is really similar to the mac um dazzling glass gloss and the shimmer is like so fine like i just really love the glitter it's just super fine it's just really really nice and this one i got is oh um fashion diva this is like a purplish um pink one and this one is one of my friend favorite. She really liked this one. And this one is like a have a, a red tone in um in it. And I don't know the name of this because I took off the sticker and then I guess the name was on it. And then this one is just a really nice baby pink one. Uh and it's ah this is really sheer. But it's really, really pretty. I really like them to, like I say, the the, 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 the um, glitter is super fine, like really fine, so I really like them. So let me put them on for you so you can see. Hmm? I really like them. They're really, really nice. And then last but not least for Milani, I picked up their um, um, bronzer. And this one is in number uh, 01 light so it's really nice that bronzer oh my goodness it's super 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 pigmented i remember there was one time i up i over applied so i was like really like look tan like my face was so tan it was really bad so when you apply this you gotta be really careful not to use a lot and moving on to revlon i picked up this new revlon photo ready um powder setting powder and this one is in oh the what zero three zero in medium and i picked up this because i think it's just from the same collection as this one the photo ready um foundation and i really like them it's just don't like the fact that they have shimmer in them so i just i'm not really a fan of shimmer three lipstick uh, from revlon and this one is a new one the new collection that they just have out like a week or so and this is the color burst one i just haven't used it um because i have cut similar color to this so i don't even know why i picked it up but i couldn't open it up at the uh, store to see it so i didn't know but i just think it's like nudie colors that's why i picked it up <coughs> excuse me 
And then I picked up this two um, Revlon Matte um, uh, lip, uh, Lipstick. I am a fan of matte lipstick. I actually am a fan of like matte products. Like, I really like matte products. And I picked up one in Pink Pout. It's like a nudie pink. It's really nice. It's kind of... I had to uh, lay something on top of it because it could look really nude to me. So I really like that. So I put this on top. This one is um, Mauve It Over. Swatch Pretty Five. It's really nice. Like I really like it. It's like a really good combination for both. And over here is Pink Pout. So it's, they are really super cute. I really like them. Okay, moving on. Cover uh, Cover Girl um, products. I am not a fan of Cover Girl. Actually, I'm I'm not a fan. It's not that I'm not a fan. It's just I don't have anything from Cover Girl um, makeup at all. But I was really interested in their new collection, which is their lip um, collection, and they um, just come out recently. And that's how they look like. And I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this before. And I picked up. Um, Seven of the color because the color looks super nice and I really want it so that's why I picked it up I'll show you guys this one is um, Darling 395 it's like a nudie color sorry I have to go super fast because like I'm running out of time and this one the packaging is so cute super cute and then this one is uh, two wait 325 spell bond like a rosy color and this one is 300 in flame it's like a bright oh, I don't think it's red I think it's like more of a coral color so it's really nice I really like coral color and this one is really one of my favorite but I really haven't used it yet it's 335 and it's in embrace it's like a dark plum color it's, I just I don't know I really like purple lately so I would think that's that would look fun. And this one is hot in 305. This one is more red than the one I show you guys flame. This one is more red. I haven't really um, used them or swatch like you know test them out so I really need uh, swatch for you guys but I really really like this one and this one is 330 in divine. It's like a really mm, plummy color. It's just really nice. I really like it. And I believe Oh, last one is in 400 in Temptress. And this one is more of like a pinkish coral color. So it's really cute. And most of them, oh, actually they are, uh, has shimmer in them. None of them are matte. So that's kind of really disappointing. Actually, um, the Divine one is, uh, yeah, the Divine one is matte. So I really like that. Okay, I'm almost done, so hang in there with me. Uh, okay, last but not least, I'm talk I'm going to show you guys stuff that I got from, um, what is it, um, Gemma Kid um, Makeup Products. And I picked up two of their um, palette one. One is Catwalk Eye Kit. And this is how this one looks like. It's like a small sleep compact. It's really nice. I really like the design. And they have like her logo on there and stuff. And then when you open it, you have a big mirror, and then this is the products. You have your concealer, and um, wait, you have your um, eye primer, and then you get your um, bronzer and highlighter, and then you have four shade of um, uh, what is it? eyeshadow and two this two are matte and this uh four are shimmer and it also come with a brush but <laughs> i dropped it somewhere so i don't know where it is so i haven't tried them so i can't really tell you how i like it and stuff but i just really like the fact that they look really neat and it's really nice and then um the bigger palette from um uh gemma kid oh, oh my god i didn't want to come up Okay, this one called Backstage, and I've seen this a lot, but I just never really buy it, but it just looks really nice, so I really want to take a look at it, and it's really super cute. It have a big mirror right here, and then it comes with um, your eyeshadow, your uh, concealer, your highlighter, your corrector, and when you open the bottom, you have your... Um, 
you have your um, blush, your highlighter, your bronzer, and then you have your lip, um, uh, what is it, lip uh, gloss type. So it's really nice. I really like this palette. I don't know how good is the shadow is. Like I said, I haven't tried them, but they look really nice. And I think it's very convenient if you on the go, you want to carry just one thing. So this is look really nice. So really like that. And then I also picked up to, uh, what is it? Two of the uh, two of the uh, gloss from Gemma Kid. And this one, oh, seem I can't seem to open any of them. Next time, I think I should just open them ahead of time. Um, one is uh, one is sassy, and this one is hot spot. So this one is more of like a nudie pink, and this one is like a darker um, pink. So there, I don't really. Um, as you can see, that's a pinkish. Alright, so I also pick up um, two of the liquid uh, eyeliner and I pick up this one because I think it's really fun I really like turquoise color so I picked up one and this one is number one in um, covered and it's just really really nice I just really like it it's just really fun the color is really bright and it lasts really long go ahead. Uh, can I borrow your laptop? yeah go ahead and then uh, <coughs> I also got this one. It's like a glitter liner type, as you can see. But this one is cool about it. It's have a mascara and then the brush, so you can use it as mascara and a liner. And I believe this one called Air Kiss. Oh no, wrong. I lie. This one is uh, Silver Green Mascara Liner Duo in Rhinestone Number Three. And then. Last but not least, I'm gonna show you guys um what is it? And B sets. And I picked up this set. Um I picked up this one from Target. So the stuff I get, like Jim McCade, Sonia Kashik, and um the NB uh set, they are all from Target. And this is so cute. Look how the packaging is really cute. It seems really kiddie-ish, uh, but I think it's really cute. And this one is in Jet Set um, palette. So this is more of like a neutral color. You have all your neutral color, and then you have like the three dark color on the bottom. You have your bronzer and your blush. And this is really cute. You have your mirror up top here when you open it. And then this is your, um, what is it? Your lip gloss. So it's really cute. I think it's really convenient and it's just really adorable. I really like the packaging with like the star and glitter on it. Just that's what sold me. And then last um, and not, but not least from this um, makeup line, uh, I picked up two of the eyeliner because I just really like the how it glide on. So I picked up um, one in Montreal and this one is. They have a sponge applicator and then um, this one is in white in Montreal. I really like um, the pigmentation of it. It, it just got on really good. And then I got one in black which is Paris. Like that. Alright, so I am officially done showing you guys all the stuff. And I hope you guys enjoy them. I'm so sorry that there's so much stuff that I have to cover in this um, video itself for you guys. But um, like I say, I did not buy all this in one day. I collect this uh, over like, you know, a couple weeks and stuff. So I just gather them at once to show you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy them. And if you guys want me to go into like in-depth detail about each product or certain products, please leave me a comment below. So I'm gonna, I will be able to do it for you guys. And after this, I'm gonna give, um, actually do my e.l.f. haul for you guys that, that I've ordered a bunch of new stuff from e.l.f. And then I'm going to do my Hello Kitty haul. And with my Hello Kitty, um, Kitty haul, I'm going to have a Hello Kitty giveaway. And I can't wait to show you guys the price of the Hello Kitty. It's just like, it's really nice. And then I'm going to do like um, high-end um, products haul for you guys. So that is all. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to check my online store. And follow me on Facebook for more updates.